Struthers has been red hot, winners of four in a row, but it's Poland who sits in a home playoff spot entering the night, but the Wildcats could bump their rivals out of that spot and take it for themselves with a win, which would be their first over Poland since 2018. Wildcats led 14-0 in the second and just before the half, Alec Grizzub keeps it himself on the far side and look at the speed. First down and much more. Cuts it back at midfield, still going down the middle of the field, finally brought down inside the five. It would lead to a touchdown. Struthers up 21-0 at the half. Second half, more Wildcats. Devin Bram up the middle. Huge hole, breaks some tackles, bounces to the far side and has reservations for the end zone. 37-yard touchdown. It it's now 28-0. Struthers' defense was stout as well. Here, pull into the air, but it's picked off by Aiden Isabella. Great awareness. Wildcats in business would lead to this. Tyler Sanchez going to cap off the scoring for the Wildcats with this rushing touchdown. Struthers rolls over Poland 35-7. They might have earned themselves a home playoff game next week. There was a lot of extra motivation this week. I mean, it's a rivalry game, possibility of a home, game, home playoff game. There was a little extra motivation all around, but uh, our kids avoided the distractions, ignored the noise, and took care of business. It was great. I mean, it's a legendary moment to beat, go out and beat your rivalry, especially a chance to have a home playoff game now. It's just beautiful. I mean, we're scary. We're scary. I'd be scared to play us if I was anybody in the league. Um, just anything can happen with us. In Struthers with the Wildcats, I'm Josh Perketic.